All right, I'm so ready. the Banjo Tui Challenge Series number two, challenge number one is going to start in three, two, one, go. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Good luck. And then I'll drag you guys all out. Good. And then I guess you go to prison. I can't put you in prison. I'll put you in the stands. Huh. I'll leave as soon as I start the Klan Go fight. Way too many channels. All right. So welcome everybody to the Bandit Tree Challenge Series number two. Um, I guess I flash the rules on screen really quick. That's gonna be right here. So this is uh, challenge number one. I'm calling it. King of the Hill, and the goal is, as some of you in GDO stream might have been able to guess, uh, collect the collectible that is at the highest point in each level. So we can see a list there in the bottom left-hand corner. Uh, we're looking for the top of Temple Jiggy and MT, which you can see for the picture, the Jinjo on the railroad tracks in GGM, Davidef Jiggy in Witchy World, Honeycomb on top of that pipe, uh, on the right side of JRL. Got to defeat Terry, collect his Jiggy. Collect the, the Honeycomb at the top of Smoke's Vac at the top of GI. Kill both Dragon Bros and grab their Jiggy. And then finally, uh, well, not necessarily finally, but got to click the Zubba's minigame Jiggy in any order, any order that you want. Jiggy Wiggy Special is allowed, so these guys are going to have free access to all the levels. They're just going to need to find a way to make their way through Isle of a Hags get into each of these levels and get these particular collectibles. So I'll swap it back over to the action. And we can see that first out is GDO, who presumably got a green potion. I wasn't exactly watching, but uh... Well, I'm not considering Isla Hags a level. So no, they don't necessarily have to get that ginger at the top of Clifftop. But, all the real levels, you know? In this stream, the levels are only the eight main worlds that you can collect chiggies and open normally. Although that would classify Cauldron Keep as a level, and I'm not calling that a level, so. We all know what the levels are. You know, I know, these guys know. And I also listed the eight specific collectibles are going for. So a little bit of background about these runners. Uh, Alpha Q Up is a newcomer to the BTCS. Uh, you may know him from his any percent no DCW runs back in the day, his his competitive any percent times back in the day. He's gone for a little while, but he's come back. He's back to Tui, and this is his uh, first time trying out the BTCS. He has spent a lot of time preparing for this, actually. Uh, I was very impressed by him. Um, yeah, so Mr. Zebra brings up a uh, question. What about the Terry's eggs jiggy? Wouldn't that be at the same height as the Terry jiggy? Well, we thought of that, and I don't actually know. I don't know whether it's the Terry jiggy or the Terry's kids jiggy. I didn't go in there with my level or my tape measure or my microscope or anything. So I just picked one, and I picked Terry jiggy. They only need to get that one. They don't need to get the Terry's eggs jiggy. Um... And true, Electric Fortune also brings up another good point. Cauldron Keep doesn't have any collectibles, so we're axing that one for this challenge as well. But yeah, Alpha Q up through the BTCS. I'm excited to see him, and I think he'll do pretty good. In your northeast corner, we got Garage Door Opener. He was a veteran of the Banjo 2E Challenge Series last year. I think he got second place, uh, or maybe third. Um, but he had a, uh, he did make it to the finals and he was, uh, one of the points leaders going into the bracket stage of Banjo 2 challenge series. Number one, very well versed in these kinds of challenges, very well versed in bingo. I think since this challenge is very similar to a bingo, I think he's going to do quite well. So keep your eye on him. Minifoss asks, is Asmi also competing? Yes. Asmi said he wants to play. 
uh, but he is not on stream, and he has opted out of being on the mainstream, I guess so we don't make fun of him. Um, so you can always go to over to his channel as we won. He's doing the race along with these guys, um, but you will not see him on this stream. Hopefully, if you guys are nice to him and you cheer him on, then we might see him uh, in the future on the mainstream. Um, we'll talk about I Cup and Storm in a second. If you look now, GDO is in GGM. He's got the shoes. He's going for a GGM early strategy. And he is going straight towards the detonator. Leads me to believe that he's looking for a DCW here. Which I think is a good play. Looking at this challenge, these guys need to get into each of the eight levels. And after JRL, there's a pretty significant roadblock um, in that little boulder preventing you from going straight from Pine Grove to uh, Wasteland. So these guys are going to have to make a choice. How are they going to get to the, the last three levels, being TDL, CCL, and GI, if they don't get past that boulder? They're either going to need to find Talon Shrot or do a DCW past the boulder so they can have access to those final three levels. In my opinion, and, and it looks like in a lot of these guys' opinions too, um, DCW is the way to go. Because for one... The only collectible these guys need in JRL is that honeycomb on top of the pipe, which is on the surface. And for two, they can DCW straight towards Terry, like Cookie Crumble mentioned. I, I think that is what we're going to end up seeing from these guys. Um, that ha that skips all of the climbing the mountain in TDL, since the one thing they need to do in TDL is collect that Terry G. Potential counterpoint, though, uh, since. GI is required if they don't DCW to credits or to somewhere in GI they're going to need to get springy step shoes Mr. Zebra asks how many moves will they need for the notes or how many notes will they need for the moves depends a little bit on their routes uh, and I'll just make a quick mention that Alpha is the first one to complete one of the goals he has gotten the Jinjo at the top of the minecart little crest there uh, in GGM, the highest collectible in GGM. But back to Mr. Zebra's question, depends on what they're going to need if they don't DCW to credits. If they choose to DCW to Terry instead, they'll need springy step shoes, which will cap them out at 390. Otherwise, they really don't need many moves. They're going to need, you know, build drill and, and grenade eggs and stuff to progress uh, I don't think they even need clockworks. Or Cookie's right. Cookie's right. You definitely need ice eggs for the fire dragon. So ice eggs at 200 notes is definitely a requirement. And I think that anybody who DCWs to the credits, they're going to be collecting 200 notes. Now, would clockworks be a great idea for this route? If you go through the list of collectibles that you need, um, Schlongster type exclamation point info. Um, if, uh, if we take a look at the collectibles these guys need, I don't think any of these uh, collectibles they're looking for require or even would necessarily benefit that much from Clockworks. Um, there you see GDO getting his Jinjo at the top of the GGM rails. Sunder uh, going for an MT first strategy. He's going to be picking up the Golden Goliath. That's going to help him get into the code chamber to type in the Jiggy Wiggy special code and unlock all the levels. Yeah, so uh, Cookie, uh, I know that you live in Europe, and I know you said you were interested. So Bandit Chewy Challenge Series number two is going to have eight races in the first phase. We're going to do two a week. One of those races in the week will definitely be Mondays at this time, which I know isn't very European friendly. However, I'm looking for a second day during the week to do these races, um, and I want to try to make it a time that's available for people who can't make the Monday time slot. So I was thinking something like a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday at noon-ish Eastern which would be 6 p.m. 
German time. Um, so we can talk. I'm, I'm going to ask around and, and you can give me what your opinions are. Uh, we can talk about what days and times work best for a second time slot during the week. But anyways, so talking a little bit more about these runners, we got iCup speedruns. Um, man, I really don't remember exactly how everybody did. Let me look. Because I know iCup and GDO were both in the finals. This is going to be under tournament results, right? Oh, I think I typed it in my own channel. Uh, I don't remember where it is, but anyways, iCup also made it to the bracket stage of the BTCS last year. I think he went down. He went down in the head-to-head -head with Emo. The one that took place at uh took place in Texas. It was the live action race, uh, in which Emo nearly edged out uh Ica and knocked him out. But he too, BTCS veteran, bingo veteran, I expect really good things from him in this uh challenge. I think Ica and GDO are the two favorites to win this race right now. Thunderstorm too. Thunderstorm is also a veteran of the BTCS. I think he did maybe about four races last year. And I think he's one of the guys that uh, surprised everyone because he had little to no prior bingo experience, but just jumped right into this. Said, oh, there's a challenge game on. I'm going to try it. And he did pretty good. Uh, one of uh, Sunder's flashiest moments, I think, was when he learned how to do... Uh, <laughs> HFP early on the fly, <laughs> and uh, he spent practice practically his whole race doing it, but he did it. So, very proud of him, and I'm very excited to see what he can pull off in uh, in this challenge. You can see he's grabbing two gold feather nests, which I think he didn't quite mean to get. I think he wanted the red feathers, but we'll see if he can find red feathers somewhere else. He's going for the treble clap on top of Red House now, taking a bit of a different approach using the window. Um, and I think maybe he's just going to ditch it for now. Find 20 more notes somewhere else. You don't need very many notes for this challenge. So uh, I think he'll be safe. Now looking at our uh, the other three runners on stream. Since they each took a GGM early approach. Uh, we can see that they are now opening MT for the first time. Uh, by the way, welcome Emo, reigning champion of the Banjo 2 Challenge Series. He got number one last year, um, so good for, good for you. <laughs> in fact, I think you're supposed to even have VIP in the chat because you've won a uh, banter race tournament. So we'll see about getting that one fixed. But anyways, taking a look, we see uh, Emo or uh, we see Alpha with 170 notes, doing more than fine on notes, learning a game which is necessary to type in the code. Jiggy Wiggy special. And he's making his way up the mountain, and hopefully he's not gonna forget that, uh... Not gonna forget that Jiggy at the top of the temple. Chonkster, if you want to be as cool as Emo, all you gotta do is, uh, win the Bandit 2 Challenge Series number two. Alpha has collected the Jiggy at the top of the temple, which puts him in the lead. Puts him in the lead as uh, having two of the required eight collectibles, and now he's making his way over towards the code chamber. Sunder two, we can see, is in the code chamber now, opening up his levels. Got to type in Cheeto, and then Jiggy Wiggy Special to unlock all the levels. They won't need to get any Jiggies besides the ones that are required of them of the challenge. So if you want to see the specific rules for this challenge, you can press exclamation point info in the chat, go to the Yorb skip link, and scroll over to the drop down, Banjo Tooie Challenge Series number two. Uh, and we're in challenge one of the second series. Well, I'll tell you, Mini Foss, I'm the only one running the stream right now. Uh, I'm not really a mod or anything in the chat, and I don't have admin control, so I don't know how to do all of that. 
So, uh, yeah, that's not happening. Sorry. Maybe when a cooler host, a cooler tournament host shows up. Wow, GDO, go ahead, collected his 200th note and just fucked off. He had another note right in front of him and he said, I don't need you. So it's clear to me that GDO is planning on going the 200 note route. He will be DCWing to credits and we're gonna have to see him climb up the top of uh, TDL all by himself. Thank you, Mini Boss. I appreciate it very much. See, I Cup and Alpha um, making their way over to Code Chamber. Well, I Cup's already done with the Code Chamber. Did he collect the top of Temple Jiggy already? If so, then I Cup is in the lead. No, I think he's got to go get it right now. But I do think I Cup will be the first one out of here. See him beak bombing up to the top of the temple. Very good job collecting that Jiggy. Oh, and he's going to go get some notes on the way down. Unfortunate crash land, but these notes aren't too important. So, just going to pick them pick up as he can. What do you mean the game feeds are five seconds ahead of my commentary? Oh, I know, because I'm watching my own stream instead of my OBS. Thank you for pointing that one out. In fact, I will close this and look exclusively at my OBS so I can give you the live play-by-play. -play. Appreciate you. Uh, take a look at your screen, uh, screens now. We got Sunderstorm picking up that uh, Jinjo in GGM. So now all of our runners do have the first two out of the eight collectibles they'll need. And Alpha and GDO are in the lead right now um, in Witchy World, in their third level, on their way to their third collectible. So what these guys are going to be looking to pick it up in Witchy World are definitely that Dive of Death Jiggy. That's really quick. We're also hopefully going to be seeing them picking up Split Up. Um, I don't think Split Up is exactly necessary, but I think it will be the fastest way to get to Clifftop. Um, and we are going to want to see them setting up for their DCWs. Um, because hopefully none of these guys are going to go for Talent Torp. Although we do see Alpha, he's got 260 notes, so I wonder what is on his mind. See Sunderstorm in the bottom right hand corner making his way to the detonator so he can set up his DCW. And GDO in the top right making his way up to his third collectible of the race. Now this race does have a one and a half hour time limit. Um, however, I do expect that most of these runners will be done within the hour. This race plays a lot like a bingo for any of you guys that are well versed in the bingo or are devout bingo, bingo viewers. Um, and bingos typically go between 40 to 60 minutes. So I, I expect to see most of these guys running in that range. Alpha going ahead, collecting more notes. And he cannot set up the DCW yet because he still needs to dive death tricky. So he's going to go back for it right now. As we see iCup collecting some extra notes. Looks like iCup is also planning on DCWing straight to Terry, which will require him to get 390 notes and uh, springy steps. So it'll be uh, interesting to see which of these two strategies pays off the most. Alpha killing himself, or setting himself up to kill himself. It looks like he's going to Grab the Jiggy and splat. We see some support for Sunderstorm in the chat. He has set up his DCW and he is on his way to Witchy World. Oh, Alpha, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? You're dead. <laughs> well, Alpha missing the Jiggy a little bit and he's dead and he's going to have to come back for it. So that is a... Uh, Significant time loss there from Mr. Alpha himself. If I can direct your attention now to GDO, he is making his way towards Clifftop. 
Did anybody happen to see if he had set up DCW? Because I don't think he did. But GDO is going to be making his way towards Ice Eggs right now. Nate in the chat, thank you, reminding me that GDO did in fact set up DCW. Uh, so I think GDO is pretty clearly in the lead at this point. Um, and it's with his last move gotten, it's pretty much just going to be a rush to each of these collectibles. Alpha redeeming himself, grabbing the Dive of Death Jiggy. Still needs to go ahead and set up DCW. And we see Icup as well making his way over towards that Dive of Death Jiggy. Or maybe Alpha already set up DCW. Who knows? It's four streams. How do you watch them all? How do you guys do it? I don't know. I think I will switch the audio real quick to GDO, who I believe to be in the lead. And um, we can bounce around here too a little bit, so. Uh, garage door opener. Um, there we go. So GDO now making his way into JRL. Um, all he has to do in this level, since he doesn't even need notes, is he's going to blow up this. He's going to jump up, climb the pipe, grab the honeycomb, and uh, he'll be out of there. Very nice dodging the snapdragon. Snapdragons, by the way, that he now knows where they are because of the last year challenge in which uh, they had to kill 20 out of the 25 snapdragons. See, iCup has just set up DCW. He just reset out of there. He's going to be making his way over to JRL. Um, you see, Alpha in second place right now. Alpha has been talking up and down this series about how he doesn't think he's going to do very well. That was a pretty sick jump from GDO, by the way. Alpha's been talking up and down about how he doesn't think he's going to be doing as well as everyone else, but he's uh, proven himself wrong because he's doing quite well right now. GDO realizing he has forgotten something he wants in this level. More notes. Looks like GDO has decided that he is, in fact, going to go for either Clockworks or Springies. There are only 25 Snapdragons in the game. And Cole's got a list of where they all are. I don't remember where that list is, but he's got it. So if you want it, go ask him. Now thinking back, GI is probably the most difficult collectible to get because you need to get to the top of the smokestack. You need to get into GI somehow, which clockworks are probably your best bet unless you want to do the train, which I hope none of these guys do. So we're probably going to be seeing a break in from most of these guys, which will lead to a floor four early. Yes, good call, Cookie will lead to a floor four early and a uh, pressing the flight pad button so they can go ahead and get that honeycomb at the top of the smokestack. Now we see Thunderstorm looking for that button. He is aiming a little bit to the left. Um, that button is uh, just a tad to the left of that uh, silver pipe you see. The left silver pipe of the centerpiece. So he is aiming a little far left, but I hope he finds his way soon. He might be uh, <laughs> looking up a video of where exactly it is. Um, iCup is DCWing now, which is a very interesting decision. I didn't quite catch where he DCW'd. Yep, straight to credits. Alpha skillfully dodging that skill stop honeycomb. And he now has his fourth collectible in the bank. As uh, GDO is making his way towards finishing his fifth. In order to get the Dragons Brothers Jiggy in HFP, you need to fly up here, defeat Chili Billy with your ice eggs, and then you'll need to find a way to get into Chili Willy's nest on the other side. Of course, normally you need the Claw Clamor boots, which GDO doesn't have, but he's going to use his nifty little chilly willy early trick and you'll see that later 
Icup knows he's not ready for GI yet because he doesn't have clockwork, so he's just going to walk past it, go to Wasteland, and I think he's collected enough notes so he can grab his uh, clockworks now. While, again, another diverging route, we got uh, Sunder setting up his DCW to Terry. So Sunder's going to gain time on everybody else uh, climbing, or he's going to go straight to Terry while everybody else is going to be climbing. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, as Nade pointed out in chat, Alpha just learned sub aqua egg aim. Now, you can't make fun of Alpha too much. Alpha is not a bingo player. He, uh, he's only been preparing for this for under a week. So, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see what he is, uh trying to do with this underwater egg game. I mean, it's not even to get past the octopus because he doesn't have ice eggs, does he? See, Icup made his way into um, Cloud Cuckoo Land. He needs to grab this Globo, become the bee, and finish the, uh, the Zub minigame. Meanwhile, Sunder is making his way into the Terry fight. Let's cheer Sunder on. Let's make sure he doesn't... Uh, doesn't die because dying here would be pretty terrible. I cut with a fantastic George clip. Saves all the time of knocking George down into the other level. Watching that cutscene, watching him complain about his wife. Oh, his poor wife. Anyways, we see GDO now in the top right hand corner, setting up for Chili Willy early. He is going to be waiting for the dragon to at him. That was. And when he hears that, hopefully not right this second, he will jump outwards, do a ground pound, and let the ice ball knock him up into the onto the platform. He's just a little bit late there, unfortunately. Now he doesn't have enough health to try again, so he is going to have to death warp, refill on health, make his way back up here, and try it again. Uh, Sunder doing a very good job, making quick work of Terry. Uh, and Icup making his way towards the Zub minigame. Gotta hit that statue 20 times. And then he's got a 60 second minigame in here, which hopefully he won't die to, which would be pretty embarrassing. Anybody who dies to this minigame. Oh. Alpha making his way over to Talon Torpedo, which now that I think about it, I don't think Alpha set up DCW. So Alpha's strategy for getting past the boulder is to go past the boulder, as intended. I think this is nice, seeing a, uh, a bunch of different routes here, seeing which one will succeed. Let's uh, swap audio over to Icup real quick, who I think might be in the lead now. So I'll turn you down. And let's pull up iCup. Don't you love the minigame music? I love the minigame music. True. Snow P brings up a good point. Alpha is the resident no DCW runner. He has been grinding as of late. So he doesn't even know what a DCW is. Alpha also making his way back to Ice Eggs, which I think he didn't quite realize he needed when he first walked past it, but now he recognizes that he needs it for uh, the Dragon Brothers. Icup with a very impressive score of, I'm assuming, is 69. I mean, that's the only only score to get, right? So the safe put out of here, detransform from B, and he's going to be heading back to uh, TDL and HFP. Sunder is making his way through TDL after defeating Terry. He's already collected Terry's Jiggy and will be looking to collect some notes here to set him up for the other levels. As Alpha is now breaking the rock and will be fighting Klungo too. I think it remains to be seen whether this was the right decision from Alpha. 
but I do think that he has lost a little bit of time opting for this Talon Torpedo route rather than a DCW route. GDO, go ahead, putting the last three fire eggs into Chili Willy. We're going to be collecting his fifth collectible. He's only missing uh, TDL, CCL, and GI collectibles. We haven't seen anybody enter GI yet. Centerstorm now making his way outside of TDL. Looking to collect those last few notes that he needs for Clockworks. He just needs to go find five more by the entrance to CCL. And almost at this point, if he's going all the way over here, I think he might as well just enter CCL and do what he needs to do. I hope we see that. And I think... Yeah, I think we're going to see that. Very good decision, Sunder. Do the B stuff. Save quit out of there. Get the clockworks before you head to your other levels. I think Electric Fortune is right. I do think we're going to see most of these guys end on the smokestack uh, honeycomb at the end of GI. Which I think is going to be really cool. Watching some of our fastest runners all converge on that GI honeycomb. And really, it's going to be a race to see who can get Floor 4 early fastest. See uh, iCup now going for the warp into Terry's Nest. Ooh, can't do that on your first clockwork, buddy. But it did look good, so I do think he's got a good shot at doing it right here. Yep, well done. Well done, iCup. We see Alpha now making his way into TDL, going to be making his way up the nest. Um, Alpha is a no DCW runner, and I think in the new no DCW route, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I do think that he, uh, you do do that same Terry warp in, uh, in the new no DCW route, so Alpha should be familiar with it. Meanwhile, Sunder decides he's not going to go for George Clip. Too much of a risk. Just knock George into the water, do what's easy, give him access to the flight pad so he can get over to Humba and become the B. GDO set up his DCW, which I didn't quite see where he went. Um, but we will see him either going to credits or to Terry. Oh, Sunder! <laughs> Good catch. Wow, I was scared for a second there. I think uh, Sunder got very lucky that his slide ended right as he went off the edge. Otherwise, he'd have been out of there. Nate points out that there is a, uh, a flower cannon plant that will shoot you straight over to Humble 1 plus 10th. And I think if these runners were planning most optimally, they would have gotten their Globo somewhere else so they could take that flower uh, instead of having to go for George Clip or anything. We saw iCup earlier, didn't have a Globo going into CCL, so he went and got the one in the pool, which forced him to do George Clip. But maybe if some of our other runners have a little more foresight, we might see that. Alpha again. <laughs> Can't do that with your first clockwork, buddy. Take a look at uh, Sunder over here. He's going and collecting stuff with the B. Let's, let's give him some audio. Go. Let's see how he's doing. Go ahead, collecting a few more notes. Very nice jam jars text on the clock clamors. Sunder desperately trying to land here. Has his 360th note. He's looking for 30 more so he can get those uh, springy step shoes and make his way over to GI. Alpha seems to be struggling with this Terry clip a little bit. Or Terry uh, warp, I should say. That looked like it was it. I'm going to be seeing uh, Alpha now fighting Terry as GDO has just finished Terry. It's hard to say who's in the lead at this point. Um, iCup and GDO have both gotten the same number of collectibles by now. 
Uh, I, I Cup now has to go grab the stuff in JRL and HFP. Meanwhile, GDO has to go finish this Terry Jiggy and go collect the B minigame Jiggy. After which, each of them are just going to have uh, GI left. So it's going to be a good race. I think it's going to be a showdown between those two to see who gets first. You know, what I totally have not been doing was seeing if there was any questions in the BTCS channel. And there's not. The only text I see in the BTCS channel is Alpha typing fuck this game about five minutes ago. Which I think we know what that was about. <laughs> if any of you guys in chat want to uh, taunt Alpha or make fun of him, you know how to reach him. Don't do that. I don't advocate for making fun of people. But Alpha's a good sport, you know. He's just defeated Terry. Um, I don't quite remember what uh, what Alpha still has left. Welcome, Brain Rush. Uh, if you type exclamation point info in the chat, I'll take you to the Dwarf Skip page for BTCS and you can see the categories. Springy Step Shoes will be the last move you need if you didn't DCW to credits, like iCup did. iCup needs Clockworks as his last move and he's done. But everybody else is going to need Springies. GDO's collecting the last notes he needs for Springies, and he's going to be out of there. Sunder getting his B minigame Jiggy, which uh, Alpha and GDO are still in need of. Alpha is not a bingo expert like some of these other guys are. So I think Alpha's making the same beginner mistake that a lot of us have made. And that's to over route notes. You think, wow, there's all these notes that are right next to me. I'm going to go five seconds out of my way to pick up these notes. And then by the end, you realize you don't need any of them. Because in reality, the last few moves you get in this game aren't really that useful. Leg spring. There's a lot of times I feel like I wish I had leg spring. But other than that, like all the other moves don't really give you access to much that you didn't already have. So I think as we see Alpha mature into a veteran BTCS player, we will see him do things like not build drill that rock. He'll just uh, do the little peck for it. Nade brings up a good question. Has Alpha ever done floor four early? And I think the answer is no. Um, Cookie <laughs> says that Gogo lost Zubba. That's... <laughs> Clip it. <laughs> How did he lose? Did he die or did he not get enough points? But anyways, Alpha was asking me, you know, he's like, what kind of things should I be preparing for? I don't know what to prepare for. And, and I just told him, bro, you don't need to be making all these notes. Like he spent a lot of time routing out his notes at the beginning. I'm like, you don't need to be, oh, see ya Alpha. I don't know who's ever done that before, but that's an embarrassing mistake. Um. But, uh, I was telling him, you don't need to be worried about all these routes and stuff. You should just learn about what tricks allow you to get to the different places in the game. And I didn't name drop for Floor 4 early. I didn't necessarily think it would be fair, knowing that Floor 4 early would be very helpful in this challenge. But I think after the end of this challenge, I think it'll be safe for us all to tell Alpha that, yes, Floor 4 Early is one of those tricks you absolutely should look at. If you want to do anything in GI, Floor 4 Early is going to help. Speaking of, GDO is making his way up to Floor 4 Early. He hasn't finished the B minigame, so that will be the last thing he needs. But GDO will be the first one to get this smokestack honeycomb. And it looks like Thunderstorm's right behind him with the clockworks. Yeah, Snoopy, that's a really nice strategy for uh, just saving the little bit of time that it takes to flutter. It's not a huge time save, but it's a little tiny optimization, which 
If you're ever heading towards floor four early, it's the fastest way to get there. Sundra looks like he's making his way over to backdoor break-in. It's probably just the trick that he's more comfortable with. And once he does it, he'll be at floor two, can just drop to floor one and do floor four early the same way that GDO is. By the way, GDO is, that was pretty quick. Let's jump back on board with him in the audio department. It's hard to tell who's in the lead right now with every runner. Well, not every runner at a different level, but. The minigame is one of those slower jiggies. GDO with the springy step shoes. That was pretty sick, actually. Well, you can get up there with just grip grab. But anyways, GDO with the springies. Taking a quick set, quick exit out of floor four so he can get quick access to the flight pads. I cup with a pretty slick chilly willy early. His beak bomb up here, grab the, the honeycomb, and he's on his way to CCL for his last collectible. He's avoiding the lag from the smokestack. Well done. And I anticipate he's just going to jump off here. No. Hmm. I think GDO <laughs> keeps going back and forth deciding whether he wants to death warp or... Well, I guess you're death warping, buddy. <laughs> little bit of a non-committalness we see from GDO there. But he's out of there. Alpha finishing the B, or starting the B minigame, it looks like. I just want to highlight Sunder in the bottom right-hand corner of your screens. Take a look and see how he does in Floor 4 early. I have a feeling that Sunder will be pretty good at this trick. Grabbing some extra grenades just in case. I think maybe Sunder. <laughs> I can't tell, but that the way he just stood still for a second there <laughs> kind of leads me to believe that he's got floor four early tutorial open. But I don't know. It's all about finding that pause, finding the rhythm, finding the pause. Just a tad late for Sunder there. Just a tad early there. Gotta find that rhythm. <sighs> Bit early. Icup has finished his uh, his Dragon Brothers jiggy. I think all Icup has left is the smokestack. Just early for Sunder again. Pretty deceptive this trick. Ooh, frame late. Honestly, Cookie, that's not a terrible idea. Cookie suggests using a metronome for Floor 4 early, and, well, getting the metronome in sync with Floor 4 early is, I think, just as hard as doing Floor 4 early, so maybe it wouldn't help. In which case, I see, you put Kappa. I've been trolled. But anyways, Alpha's opening the bridge up to HFP on his way to the Dragon Brothers Jiggy. Which, and Alpha's still missing, um, still missing GI as well. So I think Alpha's got two collectibles left. Icup's got just the one, GDO's got just the one. Sunder's still working on this floor for early. I think this is tight between Icup and GDO. GDO's got a minute. Like a minute and a half until he's done. 
So the question is, can iCup get that honeycomb in a minute and a half from now? And I don't know the answer. I think it'll be close. Sonder still struggling on floor four early. It's a frame perfect pause. Uh, and I don't know the exact uh, time you have in between the pause opportunities. Uh, but it is a frame perfect pause. And frame perfect stuff, it's not that easy. Yeah, GDO's got, looks like, 20 seconds left in the minigame. And then he's got, um... Just probably another, like, 20 seconds after that. So I do think we're going to be seeing GDO in first place here. Oh, Thunderstorm! I didn't even look. I was watching GDO. Thunderstorm managed to get 4-4 four, four early. He'll be making his way onto the flight pad switch. And I think that is time for GDO. With like a 46.05. I will go ahead and bring him in. Uh, let's bring in GDO. And GG, all right. Oh, what is it? All right, GG's. All right, GG. Good job, GDO. Thanks, Mumbo. I'm glad I totally called it too. <laughs> yeah, you did. I was, <laughs> I was just sitting. I, I was close. I was close. Yeah. I was close. I mean, you pretty much had it. Yeah. So, uh. But I, I was like, he's wearing a crown. He's thanks, got something Mumbo. on top. It looks I'm like the top. It's got to totally be grabbed the highest thing or the highest <laughs> jiggy. But let's. Yeah. Let me just turn on iCup's audio real quick so that I don't bleed through. Where's iCup? There we go, because yeah. iCup is right behind you. Oh, iCup just finished. Yeah, so iCup just finished. Well, he hasn't finished yet. No. iCup just finished. <laughs> All right, GGs. Let's bring him back. <laughs> All right, GGs. <laughs> GGs. So I got some information in the uh, Discord here. It looks like GDO got a 45.48. Gogo got a 45.50. And iCup got a 46.56 on his first channel. GGs. Oh, well, I gotta GGs. turn that audio off. Let's. Who else is still running? Alpha is still running. Still stealing our hearts. So, what do you guys think? I loved I it. I thought it. Was, I thought it was great starting category. Kind of yeah. get everyone used to what like what BCTS is. Right. Banjo uh, Challenge BT, Tui series. BT. BT, yeah, it's just too many letters. <laughs> Banjo Tui Challenge Shoes. It gives everyone a good idea of like what it's gonna be like. Right. Definitely. I I will say that I kind of got scared seeing Dragon Brothers Jiggy on there because <laughs> people could have died. I yeah. And I, I almost. I heard I a part. Else. Okay, so I I just keep going with your ideas before I start talking about the meltdowns I had during the run. <laughs> Because, yeah, like, there is a backup, but, but it's so slow, especially since you're you're not planning on grabbing, like, Pac-Wack anytime soon in this seed, and mm -hmm. this pro probably be the only backup. Wow. Yeah, I just had routing meltdowns. I'm not used, to, I'm just not used to routing on the fly right. like in bingo. I haven't done bingo in forever, so, <laughs> like, my beginning route was complete. Trash yeah, I was. I just... Everybody did something different, which was I was happy to see. Is we had people DCW, we had people not DCW, which we had people GGM early, we had people not GGM early, and we had people who did DCW. Some went to Terry, some went to credits, and I don't know what was necessarily best. I, I... would have gone to credits, but I thought I was done notes yeah. at 200 for ice eggs. Yeah, I noticed. And I thought so you too. probably saw I was about to leave JRL, yep. and I thought, man, I got to get springies. Yep. There's no way I'm going to be able to leave. So I went into Pono's, and I was like, you know what? I can't grab any more notes in JRL. It's just going to be way too yeah. slow. So I thought, you know what? I can probably grab all the ones I need in HFP. Uh -huh. And then in HFP, I was like, 
there's no way I'm being I'm gonna be able to get enough notes. Right. <laughs> so I had to take the icy side tour mm. after hearing a section of the Chili Willy song I've never heard before. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so HFP. I died the first because I, I went into doing Chili Willy early with two health and I was like, all right, well, mm -hmm. I delayed it super long and it still wasn't long enough, so I died. Sunder doesn't and then... remember the regular way to get to... Oh, he's got clockworks. Never mind. And then during the fight, I, I, I don't know what happened with my eggs at the beginning, but I could have sworn I shot two, but it was only one. And so I had to wait an extra cycle right. in front of that one cannon. That was pretty bad. Meanwhile, I lost this sub of any game that, because yeah, I, I heard about that one. How did that happen? It would have been so <laughs> good to have on the restream. <laughs> I, I, I've never had such bad spawns before. Like, nothing was oh, spawning. Oh, didn't get enough points. That's I rough. did not. Like, I, I had, like, 42 points uh -huh. at the end. Oh, my God. That's pretty bad. And then I had what... I'd like to call an ultra mount meltdown in TDL because I was already I was already shook about like if you watched my stream, uh -huh. nothing was terrible in TDL. Right. Like I think I did TDL pretty standard, but inside my monologue, I was thinking like because I was already down on notes, and I was thinking like, oh man, I'm gonna need Clockworks too because I have no way to get into GI right. And in my head, I was like, ah, oh, now I have to go get Talon Torpedo, there's this and that, DC, because I've already DCW, now right. what do I do? And then as I was, like, learning Springies, I was like, wait, I, can, I just leave the level in my yeah. clockwork. I'm good. So I, I was literally just, like, shaking mad at my routing, and then all of a sudden I went, oh, no, I'm just dumb. <laughs> Not to cut you off or anything. Oh, Alpha, Alpha's going no, counterclockwise? What are you doing? <laughs> Alpha just finished Chili Willy fight and he's going all the way around looking for the jiggy. <laughs> oh, no. oh yeah, Alpha's never run a hundred percent, so going, he doesn't know. But I think this is Alpha's he runs last wrong collectible, category. right? Uh, oh, and was it the thing that killed like Alpha fifteen times? No, he Wait, died Alpha... to Terry Warp. Think, Alpha finished. I think Alpha's on Chili done. Willy. I think he's done. Ooh. Wow, Asmi with the 4615, by the way. Oh, Xenernicus is typing. 5159, very nice. 51. What does Alpha still need to do? Because I think Dragon Bros is Sunder's last thing. Oh, did Alpha never do Terry? Did he just leave? Wait, Alpha died to Terry? Oh, no, he's going to GI now. He, oh, has, okay. he hasn't done the honeycomb yet. So what has Sunder done? Sunder's definitely done Terry. He's definitely done GI. Pretty sure he did CCL. Here, so uh, stream he's... to the call. Your OBS. Oh yeah, yeah, I can do that. So we can uh, cast along. <laughs> Guys, I just I go go I cup. Guess how many notes I got in Witchy World? Just guess. Uh, ten. You are exactly correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's another problem with my route. I just got way too many notes early. Yeah. Because my, in my mind, I'm that. like, get 315 as quick as possible, get clockworks, and then nurse rush to everything. So I probably would have finished over a minute earlier. <laughs> Asby, who was so I, nervous I, about being on the mainstream, looks like he secured third place. He typed in the chat his route. He said he went DCW to credits. Got his clockworks, did CCL, did the JRL HFP package, then did GI and TDL. Yeah, I mean, okay. it makes sense. Yeah. It's Why not DC credits and people. skip springies? Well, it's it's a trade-off. The best, yeah. two, the two, the only two places you should consider are credits to skip springies or to DCW straight to Terry to skip all the climbing the mountain stuff. Yeah. See, the the thing that I never thought of until after it was too late was I was so worried about needing Clockworks because uh -huh. I forgot I could just leave TDL to get them. Right. Was that if I would have remembered that I could just have learned Clockworks, I probably would have DCW'd to credits and then just done the Mountain Warp to right. get to the top. Because I was thinking that, but I just entirely forgot mm -hmm. that I could learn Clockworks without Teletorpedo. 
me, by the way. Everybody fill in your results here. Looks like Sunder died to the hot hand on the upper ice or upper fire side. Yeah, I would say that my I my run was pretty good apart from failing the Zeva <laughs> game TBH. Alpha has claw oh, clamber. Oh, he did get claw clamber. That's something we were talking about. Is like when you're new to bingo and these kinds of things. It's uh, very easy to fall into that trap of collecting way too many notes. And I guess this is just yeah. the way that Alpha knows yeah. to get to floor four. Where is he going? I, I was, I was, he's doing the warp oh. thing around the building because he runs no DCW. Right. You know, Alpha doesn't do a lot of side categories yeah. and like bingo and stuff. I'm willing to bet that Alpha doesn't even know what floor four early is. Yeah. And when he was asking us, he was like, all right, GG's, he did it. When he's asking us what he should practice. Yeah. Let me pull him in. All right, GG's. GG's. G Alpha. When Alpha was he asking us what he should be practicing, I restrained myself from saying floor four early because I knew that was something that was going to come up in this category and I don't think it would have necessarily been fair to say that. But yeah, you did great, Alpha. Good job. Oh, oh, Sunder was too far away. Oh, that's rough. Damn, I didn't know it was possible Sunder, to fail it like that. I guess if you don't hold up or uh, soon enough, you can do that. I, I didn't even know you up. could backflip up on that side. <laughs> yeah, I always <laughs> just jump to the side and then jump up that way. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alpha, do you know what floor four early is? Yes. Okay, good. Just I've done it before. Sure. Okay, That's, really? that would have been very helpful okay. in this category. Just saying. Yeah, it, w it would have saved you like... Almost 130 notes. Yeah. Oh, that was just Damn. too late from Sunder. Yeah, I yeah. just I thought He's about four four early for about right go, when jump, I jump, entered. Jump, 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 go. Ah, Jeez. a little too yeah. late. Chili Willy early sucks, man. Yeah, if you're not used to it. I'm surprised I got that first try because I've never done that shit. I never ran that category. But at least thank God for that. You did good. You oh, got you got it first hour. try. That's pretty hot. Like, literally, I would have had probably a sub 50 if I didn't die 12 times. <laughs> like, were you guys watching some of the places I fucking died? Yeah. It was insane, bro. Like, I mean, only Mumbo was. <laughs> what the yeah. hell, bro? Yeah. What did you die to? Okay, oh, let me. Let me okay. Too early. <laughs> I died at Dive of Death. Too early, you're right. I died I in dead. JRL twice. Yeah, I was just dead. The dive oh. of death death was painful. Dive of death. death. Yeah. <laughs> Did you miss the jiggy and die? Yeah, I yes, I tried to ground <laughs> pound off too far, so I missed that. Um, I died in. Uh, oh, I I died in uh, Isle of Hags. I <laughs> fell off in Fox <laughs> Two Land. He, he did the the classic, you know. By the notes by CCL entrance and falling off, yeah. trying to get them. The 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 sad part the is I actually <laughs> grip I grip grabbed the ledge. I could have saved it, but I hit Z and yep. died. Yep. <laughs> That's five. And then I died in uh did I die in HFP? And oh, dying sure. on the way to CCL is such a rough place to die because it's such a long walk back. And I had to backtrack because I, I I was in J I was in uh JRL already. And I forgot that you needed ice eggs for Chili Willy. So I had to backtrack all the way back to that. It was just a mess, bro. Whatever. Yeah. It, it does fun, feel though. like it does feel like ice eggs was like the only like trick part of the route. Uh, like that was my, easy to forget. My yeah. route was like okay. Was it I mean obviously I got way too yeah. many notes. I forgot about floor for early. But other than that, my route was fine. It's just forgot shit and then died to. I can't say that word. Dumb shit. Sunder definitely Jeez. knows what he needs to do, but his timing is just. Yeah. Unfortunately off. You know, he keeps getting uh -huh. stuck in a situation where he's 
He has to choose between see. too early or too late, you know? S see, in the first season, you could see Sander choking on the, in Icy's side, but it was on the other side of the wall. <laughs> True. Is this his last thing? Yes. Yeah. Come on, Sunder. I, I, I also really enjoyed, Alpha, how you didn't remember where uh, the Chili Wiggy Jiggy spawned. Very nice. Oh, yeah, I, oh, yeah. I got oh, up. He got up. Grip grab. Yeah, I was looking for uh, the Jiggy in HFP. <laughs> Wait, I, I, I thought I thought they. Grab? No, he, he got up without needing to Grip grab. Oh, okay. So I, I thought. Grab, but he would okay. I thought. Scenario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Like GDO, I I thought each dragon spawned a jiggy. <laughs> <laughs> I, w I ran around the fire volcano a complete lap trying to find the jiggy. Oh, you ran around Chili Billy. I mean, each yeah. either dragon can spawn the jiggy. Right. It's just which, it's whichever just you one to... you fight second. Yeah. 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 So that was. Uh... Yeah, when I joined Call, Mumbo was saying that you were running counterclockwise around. Uh... Around the yeah, dragon arena. That was that trying to look I, I was so tilted. There was one point I literally just paused the game and acted like I was about to save and quit. I was like so tilted. And I was like, yeah, Alpha's never run 100%. I guess uh, I guess he wouldn't. Know I, I know now. Where to run. Sunder's oh, God, dangerously Sunder's close to dying. Die. Yeah. He needs to be perfect yeah. on these last if two cycles. Yeah, he does. If anything. If I anything, I don't think that Alpha no would know the backup if the Jiggy spawned there and how oh. to get back there oh. without the ball. He died. And now he's going to have to do Chili Willy early again. No. I did Chili Billy with one health because I was just too tilted to not die. But... <laughs> you licked, nerd. Yeah, he I just... went for Chili Willy early with two health and I was... I guessed wrong. Uh, <laughs> uh. Oh, you you actually like damage boosted in the lava at the beginning. I'm assuming everyone else did floor for early. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Or shit. My poop. The moment he joins in, I gotta tell him you can walk, jump up that left side. Right. <laughs> yeah. Just in case he ever needs to use that again. Has Sunder ever run 100%? No. Because I don't think Sunder ever really would have needed to do this trick. Because it very rarely shows up in bingo, even. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, maybe? Oh. See, he learned the claw climber boots. No, that's too Turkey. early. I... That's way too early. <laughs> yeah, I was worried yeah. about this trick. Like, I thought, oh crap, I have to do okay, Jump this out early. once, back. Now, mm. hurry, 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 oh, hurry. Oh, that was good, Sunder. No. That would have been fine. And now it's uh... way too early again. Dude, I thought he was getting ready to build drill. Uh huh. Hmm. I believe in Sunder. I believe in Sunder. We believe! Sunder. We believe! <laughs> See, here's th something to think about. What you c so what someone could have done is to get Claw Clamper boots for both right GI through. and HFA. Yeah, that's true. Ring Rush, you can't say that because he has already gotten up here once. He just died to Chili Willy. Oh, he's got to do a quick one. Maybe? No, it's not going to work. This will work? No. Ugh. I don't think he's out far enough. So oh, he close. was. It's too late. And now he's got two health too. Which just means he's even more likely Party to die to the, the dragon. I believe in Sunder. Yeah, he's gonna storm. Th Never mind, I'm not making say it. Fun. Say it. You already started saying it. I already know what you're gonna say, so say it. Embarrass Next yourself. time Chili Willy shoots, he's gonna storm through it. <laughs> He's gonna storm the thunder. I'm gonna stall in the game. He's gonna thunder the dragon. This is good, maybe? He waited too long underneath, and now he has to retry. Yeah. He keeps getting into these positions where he has to do a, like a quick reset, like a quick jump on the slope and off the slope, yeah. and he's. I mean, spending the whole time on the slope instead of doing yeah. that. And I mean, the quick jump off the slope is like 
kind of hard to do unless you've done the trick a lot yeah. anyway because if you do the quick jump but you're too quick you're not high enough on the slope and then mm -hmm. even the damage boost can't get you up to grip grab height it's a fickle trickle Oh, okay, they, you'll get it this time, I believe. This will make you laugh, TDL. This is a good one. So, I started doing the swim in JRL, and I'm like, well, I need sub aqua egg gaming. Well, I <laughs> don't need that. That's one. That's not even the worst part. Two, I went and learned sub aqua egg game and tried to shoot the. I didn't have ice eggs. I tried shooting it with fire eggs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> So, so I assume and, you yeah. didn't you didn't DCW then Alpha, yeah. Wait, was that allowed? Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. I yeah, it, that, that would have been it, it, pretty fast. I I did not DCW you myself. Really? No. That's a surprise. Eh. Eh. Where did you guys DCW to, Terry? I DCW to Terry. But I would if I would have remembered that I could learn clockworks <laughs> before TDL. I would have DCW to credits. Mm -hmm. Right. I was I wasn't expecting to learn Clockworks at all, to be honest. But then at the very last second, I was like, "Wait a sec, how do I get inside the building?" Uh, <laughs> wasted so much time getting notes, man. That's sad. I'm tilted. So, although Sunder is struggling with this trick, and it pains me to not help him, it's. I guess the positive of this is that it'll be very easy for Sunder to look at this and listen to us, you know, talking about it and realize that there's a much easier way to do this. How did that ice ball miss him? <laughs> the game just hates him. Dude, Chilly Willy was like, he sneezed or something. <laughs> I have no idea how that missed. That looked so good. And, and I think it's also good that Sunder knows where pretty much all of his time loss on this category is coming from this one trick. So <laughs> between like yeah. this and floor for early. So like he has a good idea of things he might want to practice in the future. Yeah. I just logged out of Twitch, bro. Come on. It's just one of those things. It's like it's good to have in your back pocket, even if you don't run 100%. Uh -huh. Yeah. But, I mean, you could say that with, like, a lot of, like, 2 e tricks. Oh. Yeah. There's some niche tricks that you maybe don't need ever, but floor for early, early are pretty important. Yeah. I would say floor for early is, like, way more important than, uh... Yes. Chili really early, though. Yes. Yeah. It's used for pretty much everything in VI that's not on floor one. Yes. Where is Obi? He's got one last good shot here. Oh, he hesitated. He only shoots four times. Except for those rare occasions when you're like on your way on the first trip and he only shoots three times. Imagine that not banning bit clips TBH. My I considered it. I considered legalizing the new HFP early version. But my biggest problem with bit clips personally Ooh, Sunder got it, good job. Fuck the bit clip conversation. He's got try number two with Chili Willy. He's got full health. <coughs> Didn't he have full health last time too, though? Did he? I don't know. Well, he definitely I mean, has full health now, so. Yeah. Alright, I mean, then he has. Make use of gold feathers, maybe. Oh, don't take uh -oh. the freest damage there. Go, cross. Yep. Very nice. Keep going. Okay, keep going, keep going. Very okay, nice. cannon two. It's like he's standing where he's gonna take damage. I know. 
<laughs> Very nice. Yes. He's got okay, it. these are good jumps. Being yeah. right in front of the cannon when it spawns uh -huh. is good, because then Chili Willy won't hit you. Yep. Stop standing there! <laughs> Jesus! <Yeah. laughs> I feel like Sunder okay. might think that the you didn't fall off. Like right on top of the cannon, but it always goes like slightly to the left of the cannon. Yeah. This is it, though. Yeah, this is it. G -G. He did it! All right, <laughs> Lego! Jeez. All right, now he actually needs to touch the G oh, wait, without not, dying. Uh, how do I undo? Yeah, it's not, I don't remember not how to undo. Yet. Oh, yeah, he has to well, get the Jiggy. Oh, well, I... Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> Just imagine if he falls off right there. I don't remember how to undo my timer. All right, oh. GG. Mine is just the pause button. I just press the unpause. It, you, I don't think you can do that if you finish the. Right. right if yeah. You finish the split. I, I need the SHM. Everyone. Yeah, either way. All right, GG. Right. That's that's what I needed for it. Okay, let's pull him in. Let's pull him in. All right, GGs. Uh, We're, We're proud of you, Sunder. We're proud of you. Standing ovation. Sunders. Oh Let's my get god. Some applause in the chat for Thunderstorm. He did a good job. Clapper. He was a trooper. He persevered. And you were under, I'm sure like under time 20 too. Yeah, I'm sure like 20 minutes ago you were all like, "Oh, he's just getting out of chilly billy just a few more minutes." <laughs> <laughs> So, GDO, go ahead and tell him what you wanted to tell him. So, uh, you can just jump up, like, the left side of, like, the ice wall there. And that way you don't have to backflip up. Oh, shit, really? Yeah. Yeah, You're go, go it, like, try it right now. It to be for you. Oh, my God, of course. Yeah, I mean, I figured. I've never done that trick before. Oh, really? Yeah, Did you we, learn it we during figured. the race? <laughs> Well, I've seen it, so I just uh, kind of, like, knew the general idea. Gotcha. But I don't think I've done it before. Nice. Yeah. That's the thunderstorm nope. specialist learning a trick while doing a trick. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Huh. Except this time it was on the other side of the wall. I mean, Condi did that too. Did he? <laughs> when he learned to roar during that one bingo <laughs> match. All right, so what did you guys think of challenge number one? It was fun. Yeah, yeah I liked I loved it. it. It was fun. Good. Um. Hopefully the rest of the challenges are just as fun. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, Cole and in a, I have a talk of like steadily things that increasing down level of difficulty. Uh huh. <laughs> so next challenge will be a little, a little more difficult, a little more involved. Don't know exactly what it'll be yet, and I don't know when it'll be yet. So that's something I wanted to talk to you guys about. Does anybody have any final thoughts about this particular challenge? Like in terms of time. Timing no, of no, no, day, no, just about mean? the challenge before I shut off stream. Say goodbye to everyone. Oh, no, I, I thought this was a perfect race for, like, perfect. a first, like, taste. Good, I'm glad. All right, then with that, I'll say GG's to all the runners. Congratulations to, uh, I think, GDO was first place by two seconds. Is that how it worked? 45-48 to GoGo's 45-50. Great job. Uh, I think all of our runners finished too, which was really good to see. I like to see that. And I hope to see most of you for the next race. To all the viewers, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.